Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Bit of damage out from Aki, but there's not really that much follow up. Knocked them charging into the mix as Aki, the target Milky Way, dives forward, exhaust, knock up, damage is there, and first blood already. Milky Way starting strong against NIP. How could we forget to talk about in the early this is game? He's taking them, so you know his pathing is bad for you. But I don't really see the angle that NIP saw themselves life could be in trouble though maybe this is the angle the follow-up on the next play Chuo grabs the kill with ignite well if it doesn't work the first time I try try it again a thumbs up from photo control you know. wards down knows that there's no vision <sighs> and a nice little drake set up here for fpx off the back of early lane presence on the opposite side though shanji has been pushing in this entire well, he won't time. win something like a straight 1v1 not against the level 6 jin sao that one's uh a little bit hard in that sense. He can give it a good shot, but it does kind of feel like huge charge up. Oh, Milky Way might be a little bit careful He's here. going for it. He's got half of his health already. Milky Way, the man of the moment, but Aki's taking him on in a 1v1, and he's winning it! He slays the legend, brings the stars out of the sky! Aki, and that oh. means that FPX lose control on the top side. Two wards immediately put down onto the top side jungle of FPX, and that's going to start curtailing their ability to oh, get no. charm onto Kat. Kat, good. Flash the shield comes out. The Empress Divide isn't enough! And Rook he finds a kill with the help of drop. Oh, and he picks up two. Right, started up multiple angles being hovered over here from NIP. Epix needs to be very careful about the They're battle going for this one. Rookie stepping forwards. First items on all junglers mids and 80 carries. Aki pops the ultimate. Rookie dives in as well. Double knock up is there. And Milky Way's gone again. NIP, a masterclass of an early game. But Care wants to make a stop to it. Votic! Votic! None of it. Dives on in to get into the action. But a TP now coming on through. A Shala who joins into the mix. But Shanji's beaten him to the punch. It's the top lane difference here as Shanji now has gone too far. Rookie with a charm denies any kind of escape from Xiao Lao, who one more auto is not quite enough. The solo laners get away, but NIP from Milky Way, and we see Shanji and Zhuo in a similar position there, escaping before the answer could come through. And Aki has been the benefactor of all of that. The fact that he was able to get five oh, It's walking into the enemy jungle and saying, well, um, by the time Twitch starts pressing Q, we know where he is. It's the big thing about Twitch and Evelyn. I mean, funnily enough, both those champions were meta all the way back 10 years ago. Shala, who tries to get a big oh, play here, gets the no. drag back. It's a big pick onto Zhuo. That's the engage tool for NIP. Herald comes in in the mid lane, but will not finish the tower. Potential opportunity here because Care is up top. Oh, TP coming out from Shanji. Rookie's on his way to the top side as well. Care, you've got to get out of dodge, but he's got no tower to get to. Ultimate already used, but Rookie's coming. And They're fighting mid lane. His ultimate. And in the meantime, Doctum's gone down. Charmlands as well as Care falls at the top side. NIP strike back. Despite the Fizzy fact that this, this very cheap item in the early game and has been um, the beneficiary of that one. Now NIP walking towards Shallow, who on the bot side. There's no, there's no real ability to bail him out here, I don't think. What a Nocturne comp's gonna, it's catching people out in the side lane. What a Shallow Who and Care doing, getting caught out on the side lane time and time again. FPX are being picked apart. And this is as Dragon Witch chunked out once more, but Fotic just gonna have continual mobility from lower W cooldown, from lower bomb cooldown as well to keep yourself really high pressure and doing his one man army picks on the side. He's done it versus some. Very big players in this split. Care, he's walking into it again. Oh. Rookie has been here for a million years. Oh, he's the not job. going for Care, he's going for Dogdom instead, but he's forced away this time around. Aki's gone deep for this one. Exhaust popped, but there's the damage. Dogdom down and Another charm. charmed as well. Fotic dives into the mix and sets up for a second. Shalahu all out onto Rookie. One spirit rush remains, and with a flash, he gets out to safety. Rookie is unbelievable. Oh, this guy just takes matters into his own hands, and NIP will clean up another kill potential to Shala, who no, he lives just about. Baron up on the cards, though, and if anyone can do it, it's Rookie on this Ari. Milky Way may be an all-star, but Rookie is the all-star. See so if they change it coming into the second game.
Really, really impressive first game, though, from NIP. Not just in terms of, like, you know, this early game has been immaculate. They're stacking drakes and all that. Potential issue. And uh, I think they've uh, regretted that decision at this yeah, point. A little bit. Just I a do, little, yeah. I do wonder, though, like, they'll have side selection for the first three games. Here we go. Never mind. Dro going in for the all in. And Rookie's there to follow it up. But the damage isn't actually done just yet. And it's Dro to go down. Nice start for FPX. Shanti was nowhere near the plate. Oh, the charm lands and Votic can follow it up. No, life. What a blunder. Oh, just as you thought, FPX got themselves a clean one for none. It just is not allowed by Rookie. He's going to go back. He's going to teleport back into the play as well. And again, that ultimate, very low cooldown. So FPX, if they take long enough time, that's going to be a problem for them as well. Teleport back in, and here comes the fight. Dogdom has that ultimate available. Twitch is opening fire, but Shanji's onto the backline care, trying to peel for Dogdom. But Shanji's in a 2v1, and the rest of the fight is already one care. Can't finish the job as Dogdom. He's on the wrong side of the world and Dwo is here to remind him of that fact that'll be the last death knell of FPX here in game number one as NIP grab Baron splat goes the rat and NIP they have absolutely you gotta remember this is still a three item crit AD carry in those yep. team fights Tris Starter will just annihilate you and particularly with the item itemization buffs as well to Lord Dominic's regards and the voice job there sure. But that's going to open up this mid in him now. Rookie has that he ultimate goes again. available again and just dives on in. Everything's on cooldown now for FBX. And it means there's not really any way for them to deny this dive. Shanji happy to be the front line. This Shala who is cut down where he stands. And NIP, what an entrance into this series. After a dicey best of five versus WE, they come in against FPX and they show FPX what they are made of. Game number one ending in a quadra kill for voting. Domination from NIP. We said it might take some Phoenix, okay. but the ultimate's on the other side. It's you are going to get punished if Man you Man plus upset. Phoenix versus ninjas in pyjamas. I do worry a little bit about that because, like you say, we've seen some of the biggest oversteps. Not just to take some of those, uh, at least one grub out of that first couple. Sometimes what Lee Sin will do is just take the first one because he's very quick at killing it. But Shanji's now walking on turret. He's found him uh, in a good oh. position here. Just spot Milky Way on the ward. But can he escape with his life is the question. Life has moved over. Speak it off. And Shanji will go down. That's going to be first blood. And it's Shala who's taken. And while this is happening, NIP are not quick enough to get towards the dragon on the bot side. So, Towers. But it's FPX annihilating a Drake here, trading those first three grubs for the neutral objective on the bottom side. And obviously, the strength that they have during this lane. for NIP to be giving care such an easy early game here, but they can't overforce onto him. Maybe they can force onto top side and a mini now. That uh, is, like you say, a mini Nar Milky Way. I don't think he spotted Aki. He's nearby, but he'll be too late on the play. All in comes through. And Aki finds the kill. Q lands from Milky Way. He is not letting them get away with anything this game. Dashes forwards to deny the escape from Aki. Still has that Dragon's Rage. Milky Way. Oh, the spikes! 2v1! And he kicks him away. Shanji denied. Milky and Way. He has turned up to play in this top side. Important take back there. He's the NIP. Don't get to just walk away with a free play on top side. And Shanji can't just push in the wave for free. Might not be able to push out this wave at all. Life is still on top side, and now he has left himself in a 3v1. Oh, Shanji. The minion wave isn't quite underneath the tower. I'm not sure it's going to matter. Milky Way walks away. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if that last yeah, time. You don't have the flash or the ult now. Stop Milky Way just doing whatever he wants. I love how Milky Way again stops out this Q and then he waits for the shields to come up. And oh, we're back into a 2v2. Hang on, all in on the bottom side. Milky Way's got himself another kill already. That'll be two. A double kill at the bottom side. Milky Way get into is... the play. Yes, Callista dies, but by managing to get life into the play, it opens up the double setup after that point. Honestly, that could have gone so much worse for them. Could go bad here. Rookie dives in, Dogdom's no flash this time around, and Rookie turns the play. Life gets out to safety, but Milky Way just dives oh. in, and what shots Rookie? This man is unstoppable, but Aki wants to stop him anyway. The CC chain is too much, and it turns out he's extremely stoppable. Yeah. Milky Way, so yes, gets a great kill onto him back, but it is not an even trade. He overstays at this point in a 2v3, and giving the shutdown over does not make this an even trade. Certainly it's so hard to push into the amount of poke he brings to the table. Yeah, you don't necessarily kill the objective as fast as on hit. You kill the enemy champions from a very long way away. FPX have themselves advanced jizz, but they get the Varus ult for free. 
Customer Fates call. Gotham is low and chunked. Shanji trying to escape on the top side of them. NIP trying to focus down the Herald instead. Aki is here, gets the spike. Nobody can get onto the eye though. The Comet lands slowing everyone. Is there follow up? Flash forward from Shala, who is draw gets himself out. Aki dashing away, but the speed is there. Shala, who about to turn mega. The slow is there from the rock. It's going to be a big power play for them to shove that um, Herald into mid lane, take that for free. Milky Way now at the end of his play. Rookie's he here. Might get jumped up by Rookie. Aki starts it up, still has his own ultimate available, and that's a combo and a half. Milky Way flips the flash, and it's a pick for NIP. NIP managed to pick off uh, Milky again, Way. You see, already very early into the game, being a massive tank shredding threat. If you allow him to just kind of spam that Q on the target over and over, big, big damage. Coming back into live now, as I think Shallow Hu and uh, Shanji are fighting again. Oh, this doesn't look good for Shallow Hu. He's mini Dar, he's not got any of his bar, and he's burnt asunder by Shanji. Life is trying to answer it, but I don't think he can. And that's a hook from Draw as well. Shanji getting back into the mix. The sustain on this here is absurd. The shield comes in, and now Draw has stepped too far. Death charge will get a double knock of the hook. Is not enough. Care answers. Well, I guess we're just fighting for that's the good about it. I like it. Uh, anyway, Grubs are NIP show that again, they can cross map, we talked about that before, but the dragon is spawning. Watch out for those big ultimates. NIP not in river just yet. TP coming on through from Shanji to join his team. Did manage to finish the tower first, now onto the Drake. Remember, FBX already got two of these. NIP up against it, a thousand gold down, but feeling strong enough to contest at very that's least. Ult. That's a nice ultimate, and the follow-up is huge. Milky Way's the one call, but he survived for the time being. And Shallow who saves the day. Shanji being burnt down by life. The support is a solo laner at this point. As life chases onto Photic as well. The slow is there, but Doctum backs away. FPX once again come out on top. And I... It's going to be all about vision, right? Being able to find these picks. Mm. Remember, the Vi was the last pick on red side here for NIP. They gave Aki counter pick. They let him choose his You're not mega. You are absolutely not mega. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, if you walk around as a group, the group is safe, not if you're alone as a mini not. Mistake there from Shaolin, who NIP can claim that vision back, and they can get themselves onto uh, a bit more of a stable footing, maybe for the dragon spawn in the Baron. Oh, actually, right now, you still have yourself presence in Botside River. Yep. You're into the river first, you're getting mid lane turret. NIP, they need to find themselves an opportunistic pick, and it doesn't help that you're missing ults like that. That's absolutely railed by Rookie there. That's the power of that Hail of Blades we were talking about before. Uh, Hail of Blades, two item is here. It's not the Leandries, it's a full Void Staff. He can do that to tanks as well. Here comes Milky Way! Oh, what a kick for Rookie! He just follows through with it. He uses it as his own engage. Care, big Meteor, but in the meantime, Fotik's still going. No, he's not! Kashala, who finds him, Fotik assassinates life, and somehow NIP are on top. Milky Way serves Rookie up, and Rookie kicks them all back in. Fotik oh, has the... that spell shield down at the time. It could be quite difficult. Aki is getting real cheeky with it. I don't know if this is a 1v1 that he wins, to be honest. He's gonna go in onto Care TP from Rookie as well. The all-in comes on through the blast cone, denied from Care, but he's still there. In the meantime, on Shala, who the rest of the team goes, they baited the other solo laner. He thought he was reinforcements, but captured behind enemy line. Contesting lethality virus Pryo. Interesting use of the chain of corruption there, to be honest, as uh, Drake will be finished off. Okay, they're going to try and use the rend. They're going to try and use the rend and say, okay, come into us. That guy's descend available. They see 5k him. on the Baron Shanji there to try and zone the dragon. It's just going to be a 50-50 in they're the flip again. Aki doesn't get in in time. Baron taken. Rookie puts everyone back into the team. Aki on the fight line, but Rookie's going to go down here. Health bar's low as Aki and Troll trying to finish the job. Care is underneath the tower. As Shala, who's cleaned up the rest. Yeah, Shanji got the dragon, but that one cost. It's gonna be FBX storming back to walk up and crush through at least an inhibitor. Can they end the game here? There's 30 seconds on the death timers right now, and they've got damage on three different players. In fact, even the AP Rumble will do some serious tower damage as well. That's gonna be a mid lane Absolutely in here. Absolutely no slouches. This is such a compelling story to follow. Dragon, up in 20 seconds. Again, look for the big ultimates. Can an important hook land on someone? Can FBX play around the ASOL being a big damage? He's doing about 11% uh -oh. of the axe HP with his Q. Aki, I don't know if he gets out of this one. The Comet comes down. He's tried to find an angle, but the angle has found him instead. And with Aki going down, that should hey. be solved for FBX, but NIP make a run in the mid lane. Again, remember, they have the Varus with a load of lethality and they have the Azir with a load of different abilities to hit that tower with four grubs. It's going to be Sol going over, but NIP get themselves some gold on the map. 
and it is only a Chemtech Salt. It's not always going to be the most uh, disastrous one to give over compared to some of the others. At the NIP, they are going to lose themselves in the inner turret, though. So again, not even the completely winning out on the tower train. FPX start the Baron off, though. Joel over the wall. We'll be able to get vision in the pit as Rookie gets prio mid. Yeah, we 7k, big. though. We're just going to burn this through. A red. On the side of FPX, Aki gets in, but he can't get the smite. And now he's stuck in the pit. Doctor can step forwards. Aki will dash out. It was Aki that found that spike on the Elder, and that secured the series for NIP. Foti, oh! he equalizer with a comment on top. The Aegis comes through, but he's burnt anyway. And FBX, long range artillery fire, bringing down the enemy AD carry and flashing forward to find Rookie as well. Nowhere to go for NIP. Care will fall for a struggle. No, he even gets out with his life as well. FBX, what a way to finish the game, styling on NIP and pushing us to an even series. The Phoenix may have fallen in game one, but it is reborn in the second. The dragon in the mid lane. Let's the see what game three brings us. Milky Way given counter pick FBX, once more NIP. to choose his matchup. Last time he was the Xin Zhao against Aki's Nocturne. See off those fights. So. Uh, between bot side getting a good trade there, rookie managing to you know get himself presence in mid lane as well. But it's going to be a free dragon, three grubs as well. So NI games, and sports and whatever, where you have oh. similar standing points and you just outplay. Oh no, Dogdom's been found. He drops out the flame choppers, but they don't care about walls. They're coming out of the walls. Aki with first blood as the comet lands. Milky Way is denied. Shanji moving over, flash away from the Empress of and a double knock up from Shanji. NIP, they are running. FBX in the jungle. Milky Way taken down and Rookie's Shallow. going huge. He's out of mana though and he's stuck in the back of the pit. Stun comes down. Rookie, no flash available. Double kill for Shaolau. And as we said, there are a lot of similarities between these teams. Resets, ability to start the fights with your big ultimate. <laughs> I love at the end of the play. Chua and Shanji are both full health. They're like, do we help him? He's kind of out of mana. <sighs> and I think we just <laughs> sacrifice him at this point and walk away. Three to two. We had a quite... Guess what's that Titanic Hydra? It can also be a mid-game damage threat as well. Shanji over the oh, wall. Draw. Flash into ultimate. Chua has no summoners in his voting to pick up the kill. Dogdom going down there, Milky Way, up to the top side. Can kind of W out of the plays. The amount of mobility of this composition is kind of hilarious. All well, this is happening. Um, less about micro mobility, macro mobility. Yeah, and now I keep... TPing, it's a deep flank from him, but Milky Way is already behind enemy lines here. Look, he's got to be cautious, Milky Way. Not spotted just yet. Shanti tries to get on Shallow Who, but he gets out of dodge. Oh, this feels tense. Now the jungler actually on the drink for the time being. His life on the front line. Milky Way goes wide on his first Q and Shanji is keeping Shala who out of the fight. But Chuolo and the rocket the is down. Doctum starts to fight off strong. Smite comes in. Drake for FBX. And in comes Care to set it all up. He pays for it with his life as Milky Way dives onto the fight line and kicks Votic back as well. Doctum scaling up and finding the reset. The attack speed in. He's excited. And so are FPX fans everywhere. FPX, they didn't have themselves the optimal setup. They didn't have he knows themselves how to play exactly on that knife's edge. And particularly with you know the second cooldown of a safeguard, the eclipse as well. Life is maybe blowing his flash here. Caught on river, try to get himself some extra vision. Imagine that was going to go for free. He's trying to stick around as long as he can, but Baron will just kill him if he sticks around much longer. And there we go, Flash will be used, but it costs care. Kazaki uses his Flash in the previous play. The Comet is down, and that's the combo NIP have been looking for. Shanji forcing more summoners as Doctum is stuck. And this is huge for Fotic, who cleans it all up. NIP punish FBX as they look for some vision in topside, and that punishment will be back and forth. Fotic now. Two and a half items getting very close to that third. He's feeling so incredibly strong on this Seri. And not to mention Rookie as well getting close to a third item. That Aesol is something to third be item, feared. That's great for you. You also need yourself an Infinity Edge at some point too. So if you manage to survive with three, four items, yes, FPX can very much. Fight for control. FPX get mid prio despite the Baron buff on the side of NIP through tempo. Right, okay, this is a good time to fight. They have very similar items. 
Ryan might be forced to use his ultimate here, pulled back into the play, and now NIP can follow this forwards. Photic with one, the lightning chaining the comet from the sky, everything they could want. Milky Way, it looks good, but he sacrifices his life, and the team still dies. NIP, they just run an FBX over. FPX, they try and thread the needle. It's what, two items to two and a half. It's about as good as it gets from that kind of gold lead before NIP complete their three items completely. FPX, though, they just can't find the engage and they can't find the follow-up. NIP, they've really played out this Nocturne composition pretty well. They punish FPX when they've looked for these more sketchy plays. Gonna get and they're telling FPX that it's bedtime. They're trying to chase in, but Rookie flies over the wall. The death charge setting it up, but not really the follow-up that they wanted. That's Paranoia used as well. And NIP can kind of rinse and repeat, yes. That's the Nocturnal on cooldown, that's Drozor on cooldown, but look how fast they kill the Baron. Oh, no, of course, Rookie doesn't even need to be in the pit. He can stay around here and put a Singularity onto someone if they want to come in and contest, but they just don't have the vision. FPX, they are just not, not anywhere on the map right now. They're trying to conserve their strength, trying to get themselves as much. FBX desperate not to give them the opportunity. They're doing everything they can to. We'll see if anyone goes for that. Elixir turns into a giant marshmallow man. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching now. Shala, who's reaching for a fight as well, dives in and forced back out. Oh, Shanji! NIP on the counter punch. It's a huge knock up and it's a wipe. Fotic with two and Rookie gets one as well. Dr. a Milky Way sent back in and Rookie, he's not even going to let them pack. He's in his pajamas still and he's happy about it. It's bedtime for FBX as NIP go 2 1 up in this series. Oh my word, they have just been blasted into a galaxy far, far away. Fun Plus Phoenix, <laughs> they came in as the overdogs. They came in as favorites, and now they are against match points against the ninjas from the shadows. Now Fats things could get the interesting. Combination. With the equalizer FBX over the top of it, well, NIP, the team fights, this could be a very, very powerful pocket pick. But now you have means to be... that this is set up for a cheese kill. Shalahu is going to walk straight into the hook of Juo. Fotic is being set up for first blood here. Shalahu flashes the ignite, burning, and he will survive. But here comes Aki. Can he stop the recall in time? A flash E would do it. Maybe the pop tick and gives him a little bit more HP. How much can Aki get here? Do they want to dive it? Yes, they do. Aki first blood. NIP playing against the rookie of the split. Get the jungle advantage. Here we go in mid. Cares in trouble now as Shanji's just roaming around the map, but the charm is perfect. Flash away. Flash from rookie. It's Disappeared not after season five or so. It's because bot lane turret is now easier to kill than top lane in the first few minutes of the game. Shaolo, who has gone into mid lane, and Care has got the wave flip top, and he might just get dove. I, I don't know how you survived this one. Aki is going to be there again. It's two already. <sighs> the Poppy and Photic is just sweeping a place now. This is the game plan. See if he can. There we go. Level three hit. They're still going to go for this one. Life there to start it off. Milky Way in the scene as well. TP immediately channeled on the other side of Shanji. Tries to survive for the time being. And Milky Way retreats. Rookie now looking for something off the backside of the play. Charm still available. And it hits what? the Doctor Flash from Dro. What a play from NIP. Answering everything from FBX. Shanji trying to escape now as Milky Way goes in. Life forced out of the play. Milky Way trying to retreat. But I think NIP want a little bit more. Dro stepping forwards. The hook on the Milky Way and the Charm as well. Two more as NIP annihilate FBX. We have Four more than for NIP. And now they've also got themselves big items on their first backs to continue fighting if they can find angles. Dro might be looking for a hook. Aki can easily move in onto this one. Doctor trying to get damage down onto Voting. It's good damage from life as well, but it's not enough damage from life. And Aki gets a third kill already. Milky Way lands Goes the, on the face BLG. Neither of these teams managed to beat that one, but still, high expectations for these teams. Life will finally be able to catch Shanji out here. I think he's just dead for this one. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an overstep from Shanji and a good punish from life. We do see this often on the Roman Rumble from life. Good to see. Since we've seen lane swaps be prevalent. The last time we saw it was occasionally around season 10. We saw um, Scion lane swaps where you kind of stay. That's actually going to be level 6 use from Rookie. Lands the charm. Oh. It's a solo kill. Kez just hit level 6 as well. Rookie's got to be a little bit cautious. Can't overstep. And won't. Close one. Nearly finds care for himself. Oh, my word. 
Seen crosses the full moon. That was actually a pitch <laughs> idea. I don't know how serious that was, but it just makes me afraid when it comes to the Lunari champion. Either way, ult hits and bots on. That's the ult. Okay, that's a combo and a half, isn't it? Nice little kill there for life. Good opportunity. Dokdom finds it this time. And that's, that's like the for the RE cap. Building towards a Lich Bane first item. You can see that from the Aether Wisman inventory. But very far off of that. Had to stop off for the Merc Treads. Afraid of the CC combo from NAP. Right for the Absolutely pop off. And he's had one MVP performance in game number two. This game, there were four jungle bans levied towards NIP to set up Milky Way. Let's see if they can find the fight's life caught out though. And it will just be a kill onto Juo as Flame Choppers come down as well. And they're looking for a second. Doctum falls. Milky Way doesn't even get a look in. Milky Way's not even close to the fight. You can see that NIP, they waited just a second. It allowed Photic to get in towards that play, and he starts to clean up shop. Shala, how now? How, uh, Shala, who forced to use his ult on top Sh side. Uh, Shanji's in trouble. Oh, he was at least until a TP was channeled. Rookie onto the play, and suddenly, Shala, who the worm is on the other foot. He flashes out to safety, but is followed by Rookie. And that's a beautiful little kill from NIP. Wonderful patience from Rookie. You don't have to throw well, the charm out. does have his. It's NIP looking for a scrap. Care wants to get in, though. Keep your eyes on that. Diana, the moon fall. Could be the difference maker. Shanji's arrived. Terrell might just Rookie has ult here. now. He has ult. They've waited for that one to come back. The hook misses. Here comes Care, potentially. Rocket. It is Shanji that gets the Herald. And now the fight kicks off as well. NIP just walking for oh! moon fall from Care. Sets it up, but he goes down. Nobody falls. NIP, even with a five man ulti, they still make it happen. The plot armor is too thick, and Rookie takes it all again. Oh, the ninjas in pajamas stand, stand strong, but maybe the. We are ed potentially ending things off, and let's be honest, with this gold lead, with this amount of kills for NIP, it's looking likely like it's ending things off with a kill a minute in the LPL in playoffs. We've had a slower split than we were split than we were prepared for in the early split at least. Things have been speeding up inevitably as that peril really drives into a wall. Rookie needs to be careful though. He's overstepped for this one. Spirit rush gonna be forced out from him. Chuo waiting in the rush like, come on then, chase this one. I dare you. Rage isn't that dominus, they're looking for a play. Rookie is spacing around though. Dominus has been ticking for a long time. It's just gonna time couldn't out. Find the angle. They couldn't find the angle. He's trying to he use that Dominus to get Rage up because the Empowered W is so important. But now they've managed to get their numbers in. They have the flank still though. Yeah, they're kind of on a good flank. And it's a kick on to Rookie. How thick is the plot armor after all? He skirts out the top side of the fight. And he goes down. The arrow lands true. William Tell. Or should I say, Doctor? Photic charging forwards now is a hook and again from Chuo. He's been so good on the Nautilus this game. And Photic reaps the rewards as NIP once again push forwards. The level up from NIP has been absolutely exceptional to watch from regular season to playoffs. They had a lot of worries against Team WE, but here against FPX they have stepped up yet again. It always happens in the LPL. There's always a couple of teams which level up again when it comes to the playoffs. Minion, then cancelled his recall. Is this a genius Baron steal? And it's a charm out as well as Shadow, who's forced away. Baron still being taken in the meantime. And they don't see it. As Milky Way tries to get the drive by, he's into the pit and he's punted away. Aki gets a home run in this one. As he falls, Milky Way, the chosen one, denied. NIP are not here towards the back end of their split, but as soon as they've hit playoffs, they have realized their potential. It's the year of the dragon, and it feels like there have been some sleeping dragons back in, And he so nearly gets back into the pit, but he only finds his own doom waiting. Can you imagine if he got that spike? <laughs> How insane Legendary. that would have been. Rookie surviving care, not being able to make this pick work, and now being punished for just where he stood on the map. Rookie can all turn care, flashes for the moonfall. He wants to find one, and he does. Life helping out on that one as he arrives on the scene, and now Aki being chased out of the play. Maybe a chance for FBX as they find two. Two for one is a trade they'll take every day of the week. And this is why you play the Diana into the Ari. Despite being against that Baron power play, and now going to cut some gold from NIP and stop them splitting the map. Can they find more? Chuo goes in, Rocket in life, still alive for the time being, and Shaolah who tanked it on the front line, but he's just not tanky enough, and Shanji charging forwards, trying to get onto the croc, one more, okay. 
Lucky Way finds the kick. Fotic down. But Shanji's just in invincible. Dogden now being chased. Milky Way can't survive against Duo either. And Rookie's arrived back on the scene. A triple for Shanji. Even with everything. You it. <laughs> like, no. who, who are you here? Because Lethality Bar is here. Unless you're getting your arrows onto Fotic and Rookie, you're doing nothing. Yeah, and that's becoming more and more of an issue. Hextech Soul now brought up for NIP, and uh, well, I don't think you win this 1v1. You've got to be very, very afraid of this guy. He might just try and take the tower and die for the cause. Promise you start tanking as soon as your passive kicks off. So now, Kerr's gonna go down. He doesn't even get the tower. And in the meantime, there's a dive. Equalizer comes down from life, but Shalahu, he just can't tank it. The Orb Exception hits. Shalahu walking away. <laughs> His ult is on cooldown, luckily for Shaola, who is Shanji, is walking between the Nexus Towers and zoning everyone from FBX away. That's a bot in him. Essentially got right. Hex Soul without us even really ever talking about Drakes because yeah. the fights have been so hectic, the game has been so fast paced from NIP. Oh, getting ran down by Shanji, oh my word, he'll have to go back into base and regen up. NIP winning across the map right I mean, now, Care so hard to dash in. Even without Milky Way dying, he has to go back to Fountain. That's half of a mid lane tower taken off the back of that. Shala, who chunked by Rookie Ow. as well. His Fota continues sieging in the top side. Shanji's not even taken damage in the 2v1 mid lane against both enemy solo laners, and he takes the tower. And now NIP open up the top side of the map as well. This Hook. is going to be curtains shy of a miracle for FPX. NIP take three inhibitors in maybe the most one sided game we've seen in the whole. The playoffs. Milky Way, he's Way. off vision. What can he do? He's got flash. Can he find one last kick? No! Oh no, the rocket lands and Milky Way can't find his way in. Aki just goes to zone as Rookie maybe goes down. Finally gets the heal, but he falls anyway. The resets are there and Fotic can carry Milky Way. The kick looks good, but it just won't matter. Hard break for FBX after an incredible split. They are taken down, but NIP qualify for double elimination. Can you feel it in the air? There is something special about this team. There is something special about...